All right, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your maps created on your Helix unit using AutoChart Live. So we're going to have a, a quick video here to show you how to back them up, save them, plus copy them from one card to another card, uh, assuming you have more than one unit and you want to have multiple uh, cards available to you. So first of all, you're going to need, of course, more than one uh, zero lines card, so one per unit for example. You're going to require a card reader. I use a USB card reader myself so that I can have the portability. It can work with my desktop computer, it can work with my laptop, or it can work with my tablet when I'm traveling on the road or fishing, etc. like that. And then of course one more thing to make note of is on the auto chart uh, zero lines card itself, Make sure that the tab is in the unlocked position. So that would have the tab, uh, if you're looking at the card, it would be towards the top. That would be the unlocked position. That way you can access the files on the SD card itself. We're going to start off with going to uh, the spot on your computer where you save your files or where you want to save them. So for me, I have uh, some, some folders here. And by the way, I'm working on a Windows 10 computer. So you may have to change a few things if you're using a Mac or, or similar, but on a Windows 10 computer, this is what I'm using and how I do it. So I'm going to go to my Hummingbird folder. And in there I have my Hummingbird auto chart maps. Here's a list of all the maps that I've saved previously from uh, other, other cards when I've been out there mapping, etc. So now I'll come down to my, I've already got one card in the reader here, so we're going to go to the, there. We have our listing of the files on the actual zero lines card right now. You do not want to touch the profile, snapshot, or lake master folders. You leave those completely alone. We're going to go into the AC data folder. So double click that. Here are a list of all the files that are currently on this uh, zero lines card. So I'm just going to select the one. We can select them all by a page down, uh, scrolling, or, or you drag the most. Now we're going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I want to leave the files on the card. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on copy. And then I'll go back to my folder that I was in previously, my auto chart uh, maps folder. And I'm going to just anywhere on the screen, I'm going to right click and paste. And what this is going to do, it's going to bring the files over from the card. But because I have multiple files here, that are already in place is going to it's going to say that hey you have you have the same files already so what we're going to do in this dialog box right here is we're going to say let me decide for each file and there's a reason why I, I want to do this as you can see we have the index file which of course will change uh, based on the uh, the maps that are they're made and of course we have one here one map file it has a different time stamp the data would be the same size and time would be, would be differently so this is on the AC data folder of the card, and this is what's already in the map. So if we want to, we can say we can click these, and that'll make it that'll make them save it. And then also the other 138, 138 files, are, which are once again are maps I've already made. I'm going to leave this box here. Check skip the 138 files with same date and size. That way they don't copy them over the top of each other again. So hit continue, and all of those files are now backed up on my hard drive um, so I have a copy of that file on the card itself and I have a copy of all those files on my computer so now I'm safe if my zero lines card was a suddenly crash tomorrow um, I still have all my maps that I've spent the last few years making I still have them all on here um, so they're they're safe to go so once we have that done all we got to do is, re is change cards now because this is in a, in, a, in a USB card reader, it's very important that you go over to your options here and click on the USB um, hardware eject media icon and where it says eject AC, right there, name the card AC NAM1. You're going to eject that. It says it's now safe to eject, so you can remove that card from your card reader safely. And then you can place another card in the card reader, your second one, for example. And once that one's detected, it 
See this one here is a new one. It's called HBAC NAV1, so it's, a, it's my second card. Um, it has the same folders as well, profile, snapshot, link master, leave those alone, the AC data folder where the maps are stored. Now, because I like to have all my units running the exact same maps, what I'll do, I'm going to go back to my Humminbird auto chart maps folder that I have on my computer, where all my backed up maps are. So I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to right click on the files. I'm going to hit copy again. I'll go back down to my second uh, zero lines card chip. So click on that. Once again, go only go to the AC data folder. I'll do this. I'm going to right click on the screen. I'm going to hit paste. And what this process will do now is it'll bring over any updated maps that are in my backed up folder. It'll bring them over to my card now. So once again, we're going to go back to let me decide for each file. I could click that. And here we go. So it's telling us that the, the maps folder on my computer, the index file, of course, is a different timestamp because we took it out to the other card. And once again, this, this map here, this one map is different. So we're going to keep the one that's on the AC data because that will there. And we'll update this one map here so the timestamp will be the same for the next time I go to do this. And once again, skip the files that are already the same date and size. Hit continue. And now my two cards are identical. So in the AC data folder, I have the exact same listing of files here as I do in my second or my first card. So the, both cards are the same. So now when I plug them into my different Helix units, they will both display the exact same uh, auto chart live data, auto chart maps that I've created over the last several years. Hopefully that's helped you out and it gives given you some information on how to properly back up your map files to your computer so you've got them for safekeeping and then also how to take them from your computer and copy from card to card or at least had the same cards with the same amount of maps I should say on there so you can have the exact same data on all your units in your boat.